and welcome to my studio. Thank you so much for joining me today. Currently we are working on alcohol inks techniques. So let's get started with one of our videos. I'm going to show you some of the ways I use them, uh, the mixatives. And I'm going to show you Adirondack mixatives because that's what I use the most. The mixatives come two in a pack. Uh, the gold and the silver come together. The new kids on the block are the white and the black. And we're going to talk more about the white when we talk about the blue. And the pearl and the copper. And there's a lot of fun things that you can do with them. One of the things that you can do is just add them straight to your gourd to color your gourd. And you have to really mix these guys really, really well. You can kind of see them sitting up at the top. They should not be sitting at all. And this guy's got a BB in it. I don't know why the others don't. I should have my gloves on. But you can simply put it on a cotton round and apply it directly onto your gourd for color. Another thing is if you wanted to use the mixative and put it on with a brush and paint a certain area, you can do that as well. You could use your mini paint brushes. A lot of times I'll use the kids paint brushes as well. And then I don't have to worry about those later um, being one of my nice brushes. So whatever you want to paint on. But you can use those just in a specific area. If you had wood burning or you had a design and you needed it just in that area you can do that as well. Now to clean your brush out we're just going to use our 91% alcohol and I keep mine right in my spray bottle and we're just going to clean that right out of that brush. So we've kind of showed you what copper looks like. Let's do a little bit of the gold here if we can get some of these guys going. Got him good enough. And that is a couple of ways to do it. And I've got another couple ways to show you here. So that our gold. I don't have him mixed well enough. You can definitely tell. And I can see him down at the bottom. And our gold is not going to show up as much because our Gourd is colored more that color. One of the other ways you can use it is with another color. So we're going to put our red ink on here. I'm going to use the gold. And you can see that just kind of do some fun stuff in it. Another way to do it is put the gold on first and then put your color into it and a lot of times you're kind of going to get a an outline and let's run it here a little bit but you can see it start to let's switch over to copper here I'm going to put some copper in one here I'm going to run one down and then put the color again into it. And you'll see it go along the edges, which I think is really, really cool. So just by reversing those two uh, div techniques, it can be done totally different look. You've kind of got this one in the middle, and this one is kind of on the outside edges. We did the one with the dripping and this is how it shows up there. So there's a lot of different ways to use the mixative. Don't, so don't be afraid to try and play with them, especially in colors. Um, just by adding it in a color that you're going to maybe put some different colors on, we could do that. Let's put a green on here. Put some green and just see how that's just taken off and that cool I'll put some yellow over here and 
and that is really awesome. And you can kind of move these around a little bit if you want to. Maria Delos has some great techniques she has. You can use a little bit of your blending solution in it as well to kind of just get it to move around and do different things and play with it. So don't be afraid to play with it. Try some fun things with it. But there's all kinds of really, really neat things you can do with the mixatives that way. So another thing that we can do with our mixatives is we can use them and splatter on our gourd with them. And let's take one we did here. I'm going to do copper and I'm going to splatter it and I'm going to use an old toothbrush to do it. And I'm going to lay it directly on there. And pick it up. And then just take my thumb and apply that wherever I want that to go. Now remember, the mixative is not as liquid as the alcohol ink, so it's not going to spread out as much. It's just going to be kind of a fun little feature that you're going to notice. And I'll zoom you in here in just a minute after I've got it done. But it really does look cool once you kind of get it on your silver or your gold and those little, little tiny specks. So that is another thing that you can do with it. And that will really look nice on some of your coloring as well. So that's a few of the things that we can do with our mixatives. Again, I'm going to take my toothbrush and I'm going to clean it out with my alcohol to get that all out of there. You could use your uh, blender blending solution, but to me it just is not cost effective to do that. Thank you so much for watching our video today. One of the great sources for alcohol inks is BlueWellArts.com as well as your local scrapbooking section, so check those out. This is one of many of the alcohol inks techniques that we are currently doing, so make sure you check out all of our others. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be one of the first to be notified when they are out. God bless.